What's up YouTube? It's me Jessen. I'm an opera singer. Today's video, y'all, I'm so hyped. Today's video is all about Miss Jasmine Sullivan. Now, this is my first performance analysis video on Miss Sullivan, and I am super curious to know what the heck I'm going to say because she is a beast, you all. Like, sometimes my brain just can't comprehend what the heck is going on in all of her vocal riffs and runs, but let's see what happens. Now this is her Tiny Desk concert, so I'm just going to be doing a reaction to whatever the first song is. So let's go. Woo! What's up Tiny Desk? Home edition. My name is Jasmine Sullivan. What? I want to thank you guys for having us tonight. We're going to do a couple joints off my new project, Hotels. And we want y'all to vibe with us. Yeah. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. This girl has talked through like three sentences, and my brain is already like, okay, wow. So. I know this because I know Jasmine's voice very well. Grew up listening to her. You couldn't tell me nothing about the first album that she dropped, and you couldn't tell me nothing about Lions, Tigers, and Bears. That was my jam. Uh, so I already know uh, kind of what to expect, but if you don't know her voice, um, the fact that she is giving you some sung words as she's just casually talking is fantastic artistry. It tells me that she's so comfortable in the environment that she's in. She's comfortable with whatever she has to say. She's comfortable, let's say, ad-libbing or making up words as she's going to introduce uh, this concert. She's comfortable. I heard that little, that little riff or run on the word edition. Home edition. She did that so casually. Just, y'all know, y'all, y'all know what's about to happen. It's about to go down. Joins off my new project, Hotels. Chillin'. And we want y'all to vibe with us, <laughs> yo. What? Yo. Beautiful. Gotta stop getting fucked up. Mm. What did I have in my club? Ooh. I don't know where I woke up. I keep on pressing my luck. I don't know where I will go. Oh. Bitch, oh. get it together, bitch. You don't know who, who you were home with. Who you were home with, yeah. Oh. Was it a friend? A friend of a friend. Was it a four? Oh, was it a ten? I know. And my mama oh. wouldn't like it if she knew about it. Oh, my. I'm around the fools and now I'm a whereabouts I keep on, I keep on piling on bodies, on bodies, on bodies oh. yeah, You getting sloppy, girl, gotta stop getting fucked up yes. What did I have in my car? I don't know where I woke up Okay, okay, <laughs> okay I don't know where a good time to pause is for the song, but geez, um See, I knew this was—I knew this was gonna happen if I was going to do a performance analysis on Jasmine Sullivan. It's just like your mind just doesn't know how to put into words what the heck she's doing. But I'm gonna try y'all. I'm gonna try y'all. Let me look up the words first, the lyrics, because uh, I don't really know all of the words that she said in the first two lines. Uh, Jasmine Sullivan. Oh wait, what is this song? Ah. She didn't announce the song. Okay, so it looks like this is called Bodies. Gotta stop getting effed up. What did I have in my cup? Okay, I loved what she did on the schwa vowel of the word cup. How she kind of really morphed it into this uh, kind of unknown vowel that was filtered around that uh, uh vowel, which is a schwa vowel. What did I have in my club? And the reason why I liked this is because it gave personality to the character. So for all of Jasmine Sullivan's songs, 
Jasmine Sullivan herself could be the character for all of them. But Jasmine Sullivan herself has different layers within her personality. One day she may be writing a song because she's pissed. The next she may be writing a song because she's inspired about something and so on and so forth. When you have different layers to your personality, you want to show that in different types of songs. By morphing the vowel within that word cup, it really promoted and emphasized the idea of individualism within one person's personality. And I loved that. To give uh, different styles and characteristic choices with uh, different songs depending on how you feel or the emotions you're going through as you are singing that song. Fantastic job. Now, secondly, I'm so blown away by the way that she is able to do her riffs and uh, access her lower register. It's, it's insane and honestly one of the best lower registers from a female voice perspective in the pop industry that I can think of. Her and Toni Braxton love their lower register. Sometimes she will, um, she will dramatize them by either diving right into them and that often happens when she's doing a riff or a run that starts high and goes low. She'll either kind of dive and just really settle into it or crescendo really into it. Um, sometimes though, she will just ease right into it as if it was just on another random note that just so happens to be super comfortable in her range. It's beautifully well executed. She is easily hitting low, I think I caught a D3, and a B2. Da, da, da. That is low, y'all. And to do a riff and to go right into that, it's insane. It's insane. I'm going to go back because I don't know the words to the song. I don't know uh, exactly where it happened, but I want to go back and listen to how she is able to easily go from one note and smoothly, you all, that's the key word, and smoothly transition into the lowest note of of the riff or the phrase. Body a friend, or a friend of a friend. Body a four, or body a ten. My mama wouldn't like it if she knew about all my, all my rendezvous and all my whereabouts. I keep on, I keep on piling on bodies, on bodies, on bodies. Yeah, you getting sloppy, girl. Gotta stop getting fucked up. What did I have in my car? I don't know nice. why I woke up. I keep on pressing my luck. I don't know where I woke up. Oh. I may rewind, I was with my crew Woo. Started getting flipped, then I left my click I was in my bed, making love Don't remember what was in my car Woo. But I remember I was crying high I was crying high, I was crying high I was seeing through the side by the bitch Get it together, bitch You don't know who Who you went home with, who you went home Woo. with again. Yes, I keep yes, 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 yes Nice, okay There are so many things that are just dope about this performance. The first thing, the the rhythmic patterns and the change-ups that are happening within her melodic line and the piano and the arrangement. Dope. Uh, the idea to give this song a jazzy feel. Dope. And the, the relationship between her melodic line and the piano. Dope. And I especially felt that uh, when the piano changed its rhythmic pattern to match her melodic line. I keep on pressing my luck. I don't know where I will go. I may rewind. I was with my crew. Started getting flipped. Then I left my click. I was in It was as if it was trying to reinforce the message that she was trying to, to say during that phrase. So good. Lastly, oh, I loved that she changed the melodic line on the words who you went home with because she said she said it twice and she says it twice each time she says it so for me it's important to say it a different time instead of saying the same thing essentially four times the same way why not change it up so the first time she said it she did a 
kind of like a cascading scale down. It was who who you went home with, who you went home with again. And then the second time she did uh, an ascending scale, essentially going up basically in opposition of what was happening the very first time she said it towards the beginning of the song when it was descending and i find this so important because uh, when when you take the same words and change up how you say it it shows the power of saying the same thing but differently because you feel emotionally different let's say the second third and especially the fourth time you say it so kudos to her for doing that love this. I think that was the first time I've heard Jasmine Sullivan do any scouting and she did a fantastic job. You could tell she was in the moment and just uh, vibing off of whatever she was feeling in that moment. So, so good and very hard to teach. My, my thoughts on the idea of making this song uh, like a jazz song with the jazzy vibe, I think is pure genius. Um, and here is why I this may be a far a far stretch but hear me out so with the jazz uh, the whole jazzy feel right you have a lot of a lot of dissonant chords uh, which equate to tension at least to my classically trained ears but usually dissonance and tension go hand in hand and they want to go to some sort of resolution. Now, for a regular jazz player, that's not always necessarily the case. And you have some irregularities within the rhythmic pattern of this jazz arrangement. This kind of gives like an upbeat uh, vibe, which kind of makes the atmosphere chill and even gives a positive vibe to the atmosphere in general, right? So you have these uh, these two opposing things existing within one space. You have the dissonance and the tension within the chords uh, existing at the same time while this upbeat uh, and positive vibe is happening together. And the reason why I think it goes so well with with the message and the song is because the the idea that I got with this song is that Jasmine or the character has uh, seems seems like she has made the same mistake quite a few times and uh, it seems like she is frustrated and even upset with the many mistakes that she has made and to me that really correlates with the dissonance and the tension within the jazzy harmonic chords and the harmonic progressions however she is also uh she is also singing a song to herself 
And to me, this kind of uh, resonates with the positive vibes that the upbeat tempo and those kind of irregular jazz patterns have in the song. Those two go hand in hand to, to me. She's singing this song to herself, meaning she is very aware of the mistakes that she has made over X amount of time. And she uh, may be coming to a point where she is ready to take on the responsibilities of those mistakes. And she's even come to a point where she's singing a song to herself. To me, that is the positive slash upbeat uh, vibes going on with this jazz arrangement. So I really love the idea of those two kind of opposing elements existing within one space and how they really resonate and uh, complement the overall message of the song. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and comment if you've seen this entire Tiny Desk concert and if I should do some more uh, performance analysis videos on other songs in this concert. Also, make sure you turn on that bell notification so you know every time I put up a video on YouTube. Lastly, make sure you check out the description box down below. I've got easy access to previous performance analysis videos and also ways that you can connect with me on a personal level through Discord or Patreon. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye!